achievement recognition on land rights. Mr. Mr. Antonio, Antonio Bequison. Thank you so much. Mr. Antonio, would you like to give a short speech? Thank you. Dr. Omali, my, my, my teacher, he used to say that the reward for good work is more work. And uh, I think God gave me another lifetime last year. And I would gladly give everything again and do everything again with a second lifetime. I think that we are humbled by the work that lies ahead and that something like this is uh, really humbling because there are a lot of people I know here who have really, really worked hard and this should be shared with everybody. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. I got my first arrest when I was 13 years old. I was work, work, working at the time with, with uh, fishermen in the Philippines. And then I, uh, I actually started the, one of the youth movements and also started organizing some communities. That was right after martial law. 1975, I got arrested in 1978. I was in prison for maybe just about a week in prison. And then I also started organizing. Uh, after that, I started organizing the, the alternative media. So over the years, we have monitored agrarian reform in the Philippines and implemented it all the way down to the to the grassroots level. I had to I had many hats. Eh? One of the groups also I founded was the Center for Agrarian Reform and Rural Development. I was a member of ANGOC, the Asian NGO Coalition. I was head also of the urban poor of the urban poor groups. So I had many different hats. So we have started to discuss the whole issue of land rights together from among the different sectors. A lot of the work of Samdana has been in an area that has been neglected largely by agrarian reform, which is the rights of forest dwellers, the rights of indigenous peoples, and not only in the Philippines but elsewhere in Asia and maybe Southeast Asia in particular. And this is, I think, where the biggest contributions lie also because Samdana is not, is also brings together different land activists who are working on different, with different sectors. And this is where we should start to understand each other's work. You need to bring together um, land rights activists looking into agrarian reform and land rights activists also looking into indigenous people's rights. You have to start that, that kind of discussion because you have to look forward and you have to look, you know, um, you have to look for solutions, practical solutions. And so we have started, we started that also some, some years ago, looking also whether it was possible to, to do some mediation at the local area.